Well, friends, today I am sharing my evening kitchen cleaning routine. This is not something that happens every day because there's a few things that I do that are a little more intensive. But with the girls down for bed and the sun's still out because the days are a little bit longer, a little lighter, it's time to get the cleaning in. And so I am, first of all, just wiping down the table, getting um, the chairs wiped, fingerprints, all of that good stuff that needs to be wiped down because you have little kids and even us adults just leave grime and wiping down the little boosters and high chairs as well. Wiping down a high chair is something that has to happen oh so often because when you have a 10 month old, almost 10 month old that is picking up their food, eating it, dropping it, it just gets stuck in all the nice little cracks and crevices. So definitely a place that needs to be wiped. like to put away dishes when I have the time. Sometimes I do just let them drain dry. Like I said, this doesn't always happen this way every night, but it's nice to have a clean sink and I need to do this anyways because I will be cleaning out my sink here later. Also time to get the dishwasher going. It's nice to do it during the evening. It also saves on um, energy costs to do it later in the evening if you didn't know that. But after I get the dishwasher running, it is time to wipe it down. And I use a Norwex cloth to wipe down all my stainless steel appliances. It gives it just a nice shine as well. And um, it just is water and this beautiful Norwex cloth Also am wiping down my stove because I have a glass top and my tea kettle and just every little part of my stove with this cloth it just really shines it up and sometimes I'll do barkeeper's friend on the glass top but today I was not doing that as um, I had done that actually just a few days ago on my stove. For my sink tonight, I am going to be doing Barkeeper's Friend and I am using this um, soft cleaner liquid one. I am trying that out. I use it on my sinks and my stove like I mentioned and I just love this product. I just get it on walmart.com and it's shipped to my door. So of course you can pick it up there as well or probably order it on Amazon. I just use a sponge, um, a damp sponge and wipe it in my sinks. I rinse out the barkeeper's friend I am just doing a vinegar hot water soak because I want to get my dish drying rack clean it gets scummy and gunky on the bottom and so I just want to soak that so while that is soaking it is my third time of swiffering today so swiffering for me is just such a simple little task 
to get all the crumbs from um, each meal that we have and I honestly leave my Swiffer out in my corner. My kids do not touch it. I do have a toddler um, and one who's not walking it anyways, but my toddler does not touch it at all. So I Swiffer and then I just put on a microfiber cloth and this Better Life floor cleaner to do a quick mop if that's what you call it, clean. I know many of you have said, I need to get a mop, I need to get a mop. Yes, I know I probably do, um, but this just seems to work all right for me. And then of course, um, I will be getting on my hands and knees anyways to do a little spot cleaning under my uh, daughter's chair because things just get stuck on there when you don't mop your floor every day. <laughs> dish drying rack had a nice soak I just wiped it off with my hands and then added a couple drops of lemon to both sides of my farmhouse sink and then it was time to add just some fresh towels and light a homemade beeswax candle so that is a great way to end the kitchen cleaning I hope you felt inspired today to clean your kitchen and get done what you can on any given evening <music>